Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa and I make videos about music, productivity and health. Today's video is the last video where I talk about the differences studying music in the UK versus Germany and today I want to talk about my personal experience and this video is not really structured, I just want to chat about what I think about studying in both countries and what my experience is and I hope you will enjoy it. I just want to talk about my background, how I came to study in the UK. As you might know, I am German, I lived my whole life in Germany and when I applied for my bachelor's, I only applied in Germany because it was a natural thing for me. It's free to study in Germany and I never thought that I would be accepted in London to study here um, although I always thought that it might be nice to study in the UK because you always hear about people talking about studying in the UK but it was never a thing for me and then when I started my studies in Berlin um, I heard about Erasmus which is basically an exchange program from the European Union and when you you apply to Erasmus or for Erasmus it's quite different how you approach your application. So basically I applied to the universities where I thought that the main harp teacher will help me the most but I know also people who want to come especially to the UK and they applied only to conservatoires in the UK I applied to two conservatoires in the Netherlands and to the conservatoire um, in the UK, which was Guildhall. I got accepted for Erasmus at all three, where I'm still a little bit proud of, really proud of. But it was not possible for me to start in September in the other conservatoires in the Netherlands because of COVID. So they said I have to begin my studies in January and it was with my final exam it was not really great. So I decided to go to London and experience the school here. I came to London 2020. The whole London was in the pandemic and it was quite weird to study in another country during a pandemic and I have to say that Guildhall did an amazing job, really amazing and when I compare it to all the conservatoires I know in Germany and um, my sister is studying in that mold so I know pretty well what they were doing. I have a lot of friends who were studying in Hamburg and Munich so I know how these universities were doing in the pandemic and in comparison Guildhall really did an amazing job and then my teacher asked me if I want to continue studying with her and um, I really 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 love her she's an amazing teacher and I learned so much from her and I could really see that I improved my technique so much studying with her that I said, okay, yes, I want to study in the UK. I will want, would like to do my master's here. But first of all, I'm too late. Second of all, I don't have the money. And third of all, I'm not sure if that's the right decision for me because I never thought about doing my master's in the UK. And she said to me, okay, you can do a late audition, which I also said in my last video about the UK that it's possible to do a late audition. And I handed in my audition. And because it was during the pandemic time, I had to hand in um, videos. And the whole audition process was a little bit different because first of all, they knew me already. So I don't have to have like an interview or something. And also because it was over video. So um, I don't really did a like regular application process in the UK, which is, quite weird for me because I did all these application processes in Germany. Then I was um, applying for fundings and I'm very, very happy that I get a funding for my studies. Um, so I don't have to pay so much 
for my studies here and because I have a pre-settled status here in the UK I also don't have to pay the international fees which is a blast because I could not afford the international fees to study in the UK. So that's how I came here to study my master's here and I'm very very happy to study here and so now I want to talk about my experience in the both conservatoires. So when I started my studies in, in Berlin um, and it could be because it's Hans Eisler and it's a very very famous university and the level is very very high, I had the feeling that I was always the youngest person in my year when I started at Hans Eisler we were 12 students for the summer semester no 22 we were 22 students but 12 bachelor students which is not much and we were two German people and the other people were from other countries and from the 12 people I think we were five or six who came directly from school and the other people already studied somewhere else so they did half of a bachelor's degree or they did already a bachelor's degree somewhere else and um, when I studied there I always had the feeling that I was very young and there are a lot of older people at Hans Eisler and when I came here to the UK and to Guildhall I'm always the oldest one. It's such a weird feeling for me because I didn't skip anything or I didn't study somewhere else and I'm quite in the age of doing my master's. But also you don't really meet many people in their bachelors who studied somewhere else and um, which is quite different to Germany and so that's a difference I thought a lot about when I came here then because I'm a postgraduate student here I don't have many other subjects I, in my first year I have to choose two electives um, but in the next year I don't have to choose so many electives and I don't know really how the theory lessons are or how um, other lessons are here in the UK. I know from, I, I only know it from Germany and as I said before Hans Eisler is very 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 small. I know that other universities are a little bit bigger but also not very big so normally after one year you know everybody who is coming regularly in the building you know their name and here at Guildhall we are currently I think 260 master students which is quite a lot we are much more than at Hans Eisler and um, you see so many more people and sometimes I meet people that are in my year and I never saw them before but I'm also not constantly in school because I practice at home most of the time the Guildhall has more courses all over and I think the other conservatoires too and we have production arts we have um, the drama department and sometimes music conservatoires like in Hamburg or in Munich also have the drama department in there but where I studied I only met also musicians so it's quite weird to meet people who are studying together with me in the same school who are doing something else um, but I think that's really really nice to meet people who are experiencing something else who are studying something else because then you have more interesting topics than like talking all the time about operas or orchestra things when I think about my studies in Germany and when I compare to UK students in the UK have to do much more especially you have more lessons you have to write more papers and also the exams are much harder so when I think about my studies in my undergrad in Berlin for the first year um, just the main um, instrument I had to play after the second semester, um, I think it was 10 minutes or something, in a public concert. And then after the first semester, I had to play, I think, 25 minutes 
and then after the eighth semester so that was basically your bachelor end of the year recital and that was a little bit bigger so you had to play i think three solo pieces and 15 orchestra excerpts and two chamber music pieces and one concert and you had to do it in two exams so one was a public concert and you could choose if you want to play your charming music in the public concert or your concert in the public concert or your solo pieces in the public concert and the rest who didn't fit into the public concert because it was only allowed to be one hour and um, you could play in the other exam so um, I did one my concert and one chamber music and the orchestral excerpts in one exam and the rest I played in my public concert which was on the really public because there was the um, pandemic so there were only me and um, three of the euros in the room and here it's quite different so you have every year exams you have every year mid-years and the requirements are um, different from year to year basically you get graded every year and every semester and that's not a thing in Germany and when I count together the minutes I have to learn in my whole bachelor's degree compared to the minutes I have to learn in the bachelor's degree here in the UK you have to learn a lot of more music and um, to fit in in the bachelor's degree so my personal opinion is that I quite liked having so much time and spending so much time just in perfectionizing and um, one piece or in just like deep diving into a piece whereas here in the UK you don't really have the time to do that so you have to learn a lot of repertoire really fast and sometimes I have the feeling that it would be better that you have the time to really like deep dive into a piece and I think that's a little bit sad that you don't have so much time to learn the repertoire. You have to write a lot more papers here in the UK, a lot more reflections which you don't really have to write in Germany as I explained before. The universities in Germany are all funded by the state of course and I have the feeling that especially in administration and they don't want to give so much money for people working at the administration basically people um, who are working in the administration in Germany have a really hard job because normally you have to have more people but there's no money there and um, administration here is really really fast really really good and I have the feeling that all the UK conservatoires have a really good administration when you compare it to Germany and there are some conservatoires who have a good administration. I know, for example, Detmold has a really good administration. I think Lübeck too. But there are also universities like Udika or Hans Eisler where the administration is not as good as it is here in the UK. So now let's talk about my overall resume. So, as I said before, you have to learn a lot more repertoire in the UK. You have to write more papers, you have to visit more courses than in Germany. And I think it's more exhausting than studying in Germany. Because in Germany you can really focus more on yourself, I have the feeling. But overall, the most important thing um, which I can just recommend for you is that you find the right main teacher. In fact, I think that's the most important thing at all in your studies because that's the person you will learn most from. And if you think after one year you don't learn anything from that person, um, I always think that it's not worth continue studying there because you want to learn something in your studies. And you can find the right teacher in every country and all the other things, the papers, the um, lessons about your body and management and anything you learn on top of your main instrument are just additional extras. Um, but having the right main teacher is the most important thing. When you want to decide where you want to study, I would always choose the main teacher first and then look at the other aspects of 
the university and i know that it's hard to get funding and i know that you sometimes think it's impossible to get a place to study or to get funding for your studies um, but if you want it enough everything is possible you just have to do something for that yeah i think these are my last words um, i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel that you don't miss any further videos and i will see you in my next video bye